Hello, I am Andreas Nabor from the Isle of Man International Business School. Welcome to my short introduction into my literature search using Athens and Google Scholar. There are many ways of searching for literature, you will develop your own and there may be many better ways, but this is how I do it and how it works for me. First of all, log into our Athens database on Liverpool John Moores University's homepage. This is part of our electronic library and a very powerful service. You use your LJMU username and password and log in. After logging in, My Athens opens. Keep this window open in the background and don't touch it again. We are not actively using it, but if you have logged in here, you normally don't have to enter your password again. In a different tab or window, open Google Scholar. Let's assume we are searching for literature relating to offshore financial centers. Here are your results. Google Scholar gives you some powerful information here already. For instance, how many other authors have cited this article? The more citations an article has, the more influential it is. Who has cited it? And direct links to the papers that have cited this article. What related articles are there on this topic? gives you also a link to the catalog entry of the British Library. It takes a while to load, so um, I'll show you this later. And it gives you a link to other versions of the same paper that are floating around on the internet. This may be helpful if the first link is not free of charge and you can't access it, but maybe one of the other links is or if simply the first link is not working for technical reasons at the time you are searching. But there is another powerful tool in Google Scholar that you want to add. Go on Scholar Preferences on the right top corner. Look for library links and type in Liverpool John Merce. Find the library. Tick the box next to Liverpool John Moores University and save your preferences. Now you see which papers are available through our electronic library in LJMU and you see that most of the papers are available to you. Now you have a number of options to retrieve an article and I show you three of them. First, Sometimes you are lucky to have a direct PDF link here. You can just click on it and have the paper. That's quick and easy. At second, you can click on the title of the paper, which brings you to the database or in this case to the publisher's homepage. There you go. Often you can't get the PDF right now. You first have to log in. You go on institutional login. Don't use this login area because that is for customers who have a direct account with the publisher. We use the institutional login because we belong to the institution of Liverpool John Moores University. Go to Athens, click on this and because you are logged into Athens already, this will recognize it and bring you back. Now you see you are logged into Athens. Sometimes it brings you back to the paper directly. Here we need to go back to the paper. You see that you are logged into Athens here still and can get the article here free of charge. Elsevier is a different database that you could look at as well brings you to Science Direct. You see here the title of the paper and you would have to purchase a PDF. That is because you are not yet logged in. Go again to log in. Again, don't use this area, but look out for Athens login and that's right down here. Again, it will recognize soon that you are logged into Athens already and therefore bring you back directly to this paper but now you see that you are locked in through Liverpool John Moores University. You no longer have to purchase a PDF, but can show it directly free 
of charge. Now that's the same with any publisher's homepage or database like this. The third option is that you go through Liverpool John Moose University's electronic library. Click here. And there you are in Fetch It. Here you have got links to various databases. The relevant entries are in there already, so you simply click on Go. And this brings you to the database. In this case, um, the database has recognized that you are logged in already. Sometimes it doesn't. Then you do the same as before. You look out for a link which says Athens Login and click on there and then come to this page. And here you would get uh, the paper again. There you go. In this case, the paper is available from various um, home pages. This would be Wiley again, where we have been before. There you go. You'd have to log in again. Or you could go to an yet another database, which brings you the full text here as well. Well, here it is. So in summary, you have three ways of retrieving the paper. Either go to the direct PDF, click on the title, that is what I do normally, or go on online via LJMU. If nothing of that works, then try any of the other versions available. If there's nothing that helps you, then you can find the British Library link, and that has opened now here. If you can't find a paper, for free of charge, then you can find the article details of the British Library here. Copy these article details and the link to the British Library um, catalog and ask our learning resource manager, Melanie Jones, to get this article for you. She is able to buy the full text for less than the fee that is shown here and very often it comes electronically within a day. I hope this introduction has helped you in your literature search and I wish you all success with your research.